I might have to scroll a bit because he passed away in 2013. So I don't know whether I have it archived. Actually, I don't. So I don't even have an archive of it. So my dad also happens to be my insurer. Eh? Uh, I think the last, last time we actually spoke on text was Friday, October 16th. Friday, October 16th, San, San, San Sita. That's 24 minutes past midday. Okay. So the 21st June, 2020, you attempted to call me. So this is me getting back that he has switched on his phone. So there's four of those. Uh, that is on 21st June, 28th July, and 1st September. And then there's a chat from me. He called me, so I wrote, sent him the automated response. Sorry, I can't talk right now. That was 1st September. And then um, you attempted to call me. And then on 5th December, where are you? Uh, there was, you attempted to call me. I tried to look for him twice that day, so I texted, where are you? And then uh, 16th January, I got the text that I tried to call him, so his phone was now on. And then 5th May, thanks for the credit and have a great day. Uh, actually, the, 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 the farthest up I can go on conversations is uh, Tuesday, August 11th, 20, 2020. And his text, he's the one who texted me and says, uh, your motor car insurance will expire on 18th August 2020. And I said, thanks for the reminder. I was aware of this and will make payments in the next few days. How much will the first installment of the premium be? Good morning. And he says, let me confirm and revert. And I say, thank you. The last message was Friday, October 16th. But this conversation was begun on Tuesday, October 11th, 2020. Yeah. So until, yeah, until August this year, around August this year when my insurance runs out. <laughs> I'll get another text. The insurance is about to expire. <laughs> what did you just assume I have a dad? Yeah, like is it nature to have a dad though? Like I could not have, I maybe not having a dad. I could not have a dad. Yeah. Uh, choose the 9th March. Uh, I'll in text. Hi, I have received the cash. Thanks, and may God bless and add you more. School reply. Uh, Monday, 15th March. Uh, contact details are uh, Hosi Flani. So he was recommending me Gwendauko, Koyo Hosi. Friday, 19th March. Received son. Thanks, and be blessed mightily. <laughs> Uh, 20th March, mm, P.O. Box, Kangaroo Girls Secondary, P.O. Box 1094-601-100 Embu. You will go before Sister Ngo for an exam, so I'll go into my P.O. Box to my success card. <laughs> Next, ni mini lim text, a code, uh, 5381390. So, kuna place you enda check up. Uh, na wame register number yangu ndi you receive zo nini za insurance. So, ini code, lazima nitumia hafi ni mitumia. Uh, 19th May, high sun, received cash. May God bless you and enable you have more as you move on with the life challenges. Thanks and good night, my son. Sim night as you call. See, um, Zayali passed Kitambo like seven years ago. No, seven, six. Imwakaita kuwa seven, seventh anniversary. Um, Saturday, 8th May, 7.16 p.m. 
42 millimeter rain. That's him to me. Me to him, wow, town is raining too. That's the same day, 9.26 p.m. That's two hours later. Uh, the, next time, the next message is Wednesday, 12th May, 9.26 a.m. 78 millimeter rainfall. How are you? <laughs> I replied on the next day on Sunday, 16th May. Actually, it's not even the next day. Anyway, morning, that is a lot. I am doing well. See you Sunday. Uh, my dad is a career ag agriculturalist. He's been working on, f on commercial estates, farm estates like his whole life. And uh, part of the job involves monitoring the weather, the climate in order to know if and whether to irrigate the crops. So <coughs> we find that some the farms have wind vanes, rain gauges, and all sort of clima climatical instruments. He's retired now and he still has a rain gauge. It's like it's it's a thing he can't do without. So every time it rains, he measures the rain, the rainfall in millimeters. And even us growing up, he built that culture into us. And it, it's, it's like a fun thing. You want to know, hey, that rain was quite a lot. No, it wasn't. It was just 10 mm. 10 mm is not Kidogo rain. 100 mm is a flood. If there is a hailstorm, it will record very Kidogo rain. Because, you know, the hailstorms would, would enter that rain gauge if, you've, if you remember how a rain gauge looks like. So yeah, this, these messages were... Last month it was raining. When June now, May was the, the peak of the long rains. So the, la, that was like the last time we spoke because it was raining. <laughs> now it's not raining, there's, there's nothing to talk about. To cut the long story short, my mom is not married never been married ever since I was born, at least to the best of my knowledge. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I have two uncles. One is the one I'm named after and his brother. They're my mom's brothers. So yeah, those are the ones I would say I would consider father figures. Right now I'm an adult, so they're not that present as they were when I was younger. But yes, those, was, those are the ones, those are the, they were definitely the men in my life um, growing up. Um, SMS Wednesday, Wednesday, 3rd February. Uh, my dad texts me, drive set 2500 headlamp, 1300 front indicators, 800 side mirror, 550 labor, 1500 total, 6650. That is at 7.59 p.m. Then Friday, 5th March, you attempted to call me. Wednesday, 14th April, 2021, you attempted to call me. Then this is me, Wednesday, 19th May. I'll call you back. And Friday, 28th May, I sent him my name and passport number. And then, I don't know. He just called me and told me, me to me is Vitu. So I sent it to him. Um, Sunday, 6th June, Babs Asante Sana ni mepata. Um, Nilim to me Mpesa. For what? I don't know. May I add that he might not see this? Or is it okay if I can call him up to tell him to check my text? Okay. I wanted to say thank you for being there for me always and for supporting me and for pushing me to be the best version of myself. I love you. Hi, Dad. I'd like to tell you that I love you and appreciate you so much. Good morning, Dad. 
I just noticed I've never appreciated you for being a good dad. Being a dad is sadly a thankless job. I love you. Uh, morning, Dad. I just want you to know that you're the best father I've, I'd ever have wished for. And I love you very much. Blessed day. Morning, Dad. Just wanted to know you mean the world to me. And thanks for shaping me into the man and father I've become. I love you and have a good day. Ah, uh, so my pops has responded. Um, and this is what I said. You're welcome anytime. It's you, my children, who give me the courage to soldier on even during hard times. I love you right back. <laughs> yeah, that is what my dad has told me. And he said, thank you, my son. May God bless you abundantly. Amen. The nuance here is he's not going to say I love you. But I mean, this is the most tender and gentle we've ever been with each other. So at least I may acknowledge. Yeah. So he's replied. He says, uh, me too. And then he's put the emoji, the one, the eyes with the love heart. And the other emoji is uh, blushing with three love hearts on the face. With three love hearts on the face. So that's what I got. So he's just replied after 30 minutes. I feel elated. Best feeling ever. Um, one of them has responded. That's the one I'm named after. Simple response, but a response still. And he said, um, I love you too, nephew. Just that. Yeah. Five word answer. Uh, it's, a, it's probably the first time I've heard this from him. I've never heard this before. Like, I've never heard those words from him or even the other one. Yeah. So, it feels good, really. Yeah, it feels good. I would mostly like to say appreciate your dads when they're here. It's very easy, since you don't know the expiry date, uh, to take things for granted. Hello? Uh-huh. Gangster. Swing by Cheche Steakhouse this Father's Day and appreciate your dad by treating him to a one-of-a-kind dining experience. We're talking great steak, live music, a relaxing ambience, and to top it off, 10% off on Father's Day. Ring up your dad and save the date. Cheche Steakhouse is located on the junction of Lenana and Ralph Bunch Road.